When will you marry? Yes. Do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> this is the life. So typical day, I'll wake up at 6 a.m., mm. get ready to the gym, get there by 8, uh, do all the shenanigans. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Honey, I've won like two competitions like when it comes to job. Yeah. Yeah. It's bank work, so it's a 1 a.m. safe. That's actually the first time I encountered you. I was like, ah, who's this guy? <laughs> and then you insulted me. They insulted you too. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I get it. I get it. You and Porsche used to vibe all the time. <laughs> <laughs>
and thank you for supporting Stay by Plan. It's because of people like you that the podcast is still alive. Mm. So now we can finally introduce the one and only Wesley Gazelle. Drum rolls. Wow. Welcome to the podcast. Finally. Thank you. Yeah. It's funny you say I have a bitch resting face because the first time I met you, I thought you had like a bitch resting face. And I was like, Resting bitch face. Resting, you, bitch resting, uh, resting the funny thing face. is, I, I I get that a lot. People yeah. think I'm not approachable, but it's okay. It's fine. I kind of like it like that. Yeah. No disrespect. Like you can't just come in, you know, do your shakara on my face. <laughs> you already think that I'm, you know, some type of way. Exactly, yeah. but it's good. But you're actually a very nice person. So he's a nice person. So I'll start approaching him, guys. Yes, <laughs> just come to me when you see me. Say, hey, what's the what's up? I just say, cool, yeah, actually, because yeah, I've seen you. In public and people approach you, you're very nice to them. Yeah, yeah so. he's actually nice. I'm not I'll, lying. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. So yes, Mr. Wesley Kessy, the famous, the walking man. Do you know? I didn't realize how famous you were till we went to the day we went to Makola. I feel you remember that day. Yeah. Wait, what happened there? For context, like we went to Makola with Finba, where they all tried to bully me and wash me. But that, go and check her, her YouTube and see what they did to me. <laughs> but we went to Makola to buy clothes. And every single person knew Wesley. It was crazy, like, bro. Like from That's the people it. selling to the people buying to. You know, like, I'm trying to remember that, but it, was was it that deep? Like the it people was that deep, deep. Bro. and I guess also because me, I was looking up. Some people recognize you, but they didn't say anything. But you see people like look at Zoo was supposed to be looking for fits. You were looking at people That's that were looking at like oh. he's, still, he's still eight, right? No, no, yeah. Eight. I don't even think I was third. I think I was like the fourth on like on the list. Yeah, I was last two. I think. You know, because recently I saw a book of mine and then I saw the match and I was like, wait, <laughs> how wasn't I the first? Because, you know, because Annie got some crazy. Annie was just like, some crazy acting crazy. like she didn't know what she was speaking yeah. and didn't know how to put them together. And Don't then when she me. did, we're like, wow. Yeah, so check out that video. We'll put it in the description. No, mm. we would not. <laughs> people were bullying me. I don't want anybody to watch No, but video. people need to see that. Yeah, they need okay, to know what we're talking about. Yeah. That's true, true. Okay, fine. We'll put it there. Let's take your L's, bro. It's like... It's down there. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, Wesley, welcome to Stay by Plan. Um, aka the walking mannequin. I want to go straight into that. What, yeah. is that. what does that mean, the walking mannequin? So um I think I've always had this name, right? Mm -hmm. But I never made it public and until like recently. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I have that name is very simple. For me, I just want to be able to look good in everything that I wear. Now, when you go to any boutique at all and then you see mm -hmm. them selling clothes, so what you see first is the mannequin with a cloth on it. It means that like this is how it's going to look when you wear it. Right. So I am calling myself the walking mannequin because first off, I'm not a statue. Like <laughs> I am a living being. I am moving and I'm walking around. So for me to call myself, that means that I should be able to rock anything you put on the body. Real. Yeah. I like that. But have you like always been into fashion? Yeah. So I, what was it? I, I didn't think I was going to be on the podcast like now. But three or four days ago, before you called me, I was just telling a friend of mine how my elder brother used to call me Papa Shotos when I was growing up. Papa what? Papa Shotos. <laughs> it means that, like, maybe I want to shit. Because like, yeah. <laughs> any time there's, like, a party in the area or we're going somewhere, you best believe that Wesley would dress up as if, like, he's the one doing the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So my brother would just see me and say, hey, Papa Shotos. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know. So, like, growing up, I always, always loved fashion. Like, right. It wasn't that deep like now, but I just knew that I always like to look good. Yeah. So there's always this like trick question, not necessarily a trick question, just like a random question people usually ask that. Would you rather go to a place, I'm asking Zoo as well, like would you rather go to a place overly dressed or underdressed? Overly, overly dressed. dressed, yeah. Overly <laughs> Over, dressed. You, 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 under not, you don't feel bad when you go somewhere and it's like it's clear that you are the only one who has taken the event. Bubu Kiri, like the whole point is I'm representing myself. Every day is a show. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Like, so if you don't want me there, if you don't want me looking overdressed, don't invite me. Because when you do, I'm like, you know what? I have to wear this. So if I invite you for my 30th birthday party, you go, you go come and watch me. Trust me. Like, I mean, <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> I don't know if I will over you, but you I will. Respect. I will Respectfully. Do, yes, I will do my best. Respectfully, you cook No, you. I, I need to show up and show off. Mm. It's, just, it's real. that simple, you know. Real, real, yeah. real, real. I hear that. I hear that. But um, yeah, on the overly dressed thing, I feel like, Maybe it can be awkward in some situations, but 
trust me, it always feels better than being under under dressed. Under dressed, they're like the worst because you know you start ever. you know hiding yeah. when the cameras and you're so like, oh, yeah, you know, bro, like. you know <laughs> if you're overly dressed, you can even take a picture alone and post it another day. Nobody will know that. Oh, recently I was invited to a friend's birthday party. That was in April actually. Mm. When I got there, everybody was like, Wesley, why? What's up? What's it? <laughs> you guys said we should look fine. Good. Yes, I'm trying to look good. Yeah. What else do you want me to look like? <laughs> Everybody that saw me, they felt like I was a celebrant. I said, no. Oh, I'm, not the bedding boy. I'm not the bedding boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the bedding, I'm not the bedding girl. I'm the bedding girl's friend. I only came there to support her. And then, I mean, I, it always feels good to be overly dressed and underdressed. Yeah. yeah. So then where do you, like, source all of these things from? Because the, the fits are crazy. And the variety, the colors. Where do you source them and how do you afford them? Let's just go straight into that. So, um... I think people knew I was going to, people knew that I loved fashion. So right from like 2013, 14, like I was getting people bringing me clothes to wear for them. As of that time, I didn't even have the, like the following that I have right now, but mm. people would just, you know, make clothes and bring them and say, oh, I want you and your friends to just wear it and, you know, tag us. And we just do that. Mm. And it has been like that since. So most of the clothes, I have clothes mm. in my closet. Mm my own clothes but I'm, I'm a very good keeper of clothes like mm. um i was going through my uh memories on snapchat yesterday and then i realized that i i wore one particular shirt in 2014 mm. and i still have it in my closet that's crazy yeah. and that's i'm like, like me too and i'm like oh why, why do i still have this shirt <laughs> and the truth is it doesn't look bad yeah. it still looks like how i i bought it or how i got it in 2014 yeah. i'm like mm. That's good. So I, I, for me, I just have the clothes in there. It depends on the event I'm going for. Mm. If it requires a designer to make something for me, then fine. We'll collaborate and do something. If I have to pay, I'm going to do that. But most of the time, I think I just go through my stuff. I used to, there was a point in time where I will just, you know, wear two piece. It became a lifestyle. Like, you know, there was a time where two piece was like the ish. Mm. So I just had a lot of two piece and I, I just thought it was boring. Mm. Yeah. It was just too boring and uh, there's nothing fun about it. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to wear that two piece again. I'm just going to be styling like the clothes that I have in there. So I just picked this depends on where I'm going to. So today I felt like I was going to do something around music for somebody. And then I was also coming for the podcast. Now, how would I want to feel? Do I want to like, do I want to be comfortable? <laughs> do I want to, you know, look all dressed up yeah. nah you know let's just keep it simple this is but, simple <laughs> this, is, this is not simple i feel this is simple <laughs> this is my my zoo this is, this is zoo bed day, you guys bed see, day day the, see the shoe, eh? <laughs> this is come simple. on <laughs> <laughs> no i feel this this to me and this was done in a rush usually <laughs> I had to look for the fit. No, you're just, really? no, no, he's just disrespecting us. You know what's, you know what's annoying me? He has not, the bag is, is there. The bag. No, but you know, it's, it's part of it. Like, you need to accessorize yourself. You can't just be walking around and not have anything. So now it's Oba on Sapine. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, I like I like the thoughts. You kind of explain the thought process behind your face. Yeah. Me, primarily, unless I'm going for something specific, mm-hmm. primarily, I just, yeah, comfort face. If it's not comfortable, I don't want to wear it. Every day is a show for me, honestly. Mm. Unless yeah. I'm feeling very lazy. So what if you're, that day you're meeting only one person, you're just going out, meeting one person. Trust me, back. two days ago, two days ago, yes, I don't remember what exactly, I was supposed to meet somebody, I don't remember what it was, but it was just like a very extremely casual day, but when you go to my IG, I was wearing this green jersey with with the same pants, mm. but with a white and green sneakers and some green and white <laughs> sneakers. Like I was like, you know what? I don't have anywhere I'm wearing it to. So I feel when you called me about the podcast, I was like, I should have just waited. But you know, I don't know how to keep clothes. Oh, you should Once have, I have them. I'm like, see, tomorrow see, I'm going here. You should have worn it again and just see record this on the same day. Yeah, that's all. Nobody will know. You they will know. It. No, they will know. They will know. know. They will know. Trust. So do you feel friends. like? Do you feel like you have haters sometimes? Like, do they? Do some people really hate when you? You're just like, yo, like, can't you just get a life? Like, I'm just living my life. Like, why are you hating? Uh, yes. And I how have... do you deal with it? If you don't have haters, that means you're not doing it right. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. definitely. I have haters. I know some of them. I see the comments, but I signed up for this job. So do the comments <laughs> ever get to you? No, not really. But we're human. One, one way or the other, one you will get to you and just feel like, 
I need to reply this person. Hey, I really need bro. to reply you. But you know what? They say branding. Bro. And, bro. and what you stand for is not to, you know, pay heed to yeah. the negative comments. So all I'll do is just... <sighs> No, 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 like for real. To somebody. And I'll just. You saw it, eh? <laughs> so reply to somebody. <laughs> like, what did you think? No, somebody came comments. to write that your camera quality isn't the best. Then he said, bring your camera with me. <laughs> like, you so know, what kind of stupid comments? Meanwhile, was? like, the person doesn't even have the oh, camera. Do you know oh, how much cameras are? Bring, like, bring us $1,000 and then let's and they, get oh some better God. quality for you. <laughs> but for me, anytime there's any negative comments, it's like, I know the good comments are going to come. I just look out for the, the bad ones and say, okay, yeah, at least somebody hated what I was doing. Yeah. But then I know people love it as well. So let's keep it going. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So like, what did you do in school randomly? Randomly school. Yeah. Uh, which of, which of the uh, like levels? Like the, the last level, that you, the last level of education. Uni? Yeah. Uh, so before I went to uni, I was very popular in high school. Mm. And when I was going to uni, I was like, you know, what? I don't want people to know me like that. <laughs> you know, so... If you mention the name Wesley in high school, a lot of people would know Wesley. Mm. So when I got to um, uni, I just decided to use my last name. Because then, like, people didn't know me as Kesey. Right. So they'll say, oh, who's Kesey? Uh, oh, Wesley. Uh, uh, but Wesley. Why do you call him Kesey? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so the OGs will say Wesley. And then the people that I met on campus would call me Kesey. I was trying to hide. And then one friend of mine said, oh, there was this uh, competition, Mr. and Mr. Kwaba. Mm. I was like, you know, I'm not going to partake in this again because I won Mr. and Mrs. as the second runner up mm. when I was in high school. Mm. So I was like, mm, I don't want to do this thing. Not that I don't like it, but yeah, I don't want to like, I don't want to be known right now. It's too early. Mm. Yeah. And then the people that knew mm. me from SS said, no, we're going to nominate you. You're going to stand for our class. I said, hi. Huh. <laughs> and then Serious. boom, I went and then I won. Serious. I say, hey, trouble now. <laughs> I became popular. Everybody see me and say, hey, Mr. Kwaba. I was like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> and then, like I said about fashion, in school, yeah, it was crazy. Like, every day I'm dressed up. Like, I am dressed up. And there was this thing. I'm not bragging. It was just like a thing in school. So, in a semester, I wouldn't repeat any outfits. Like, any <laughs> shirt. <laughs> any shirt. Woo. Because by then, like, bro, let's 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 keep it real. Like, Kanta was there, and, and then those people who come around, yes, and things weren't like expensive like that. So yeah. me, after hey, my mother sees this one, <laughs> after I take my school fees <laughs> and chop money and everything, I'm not coming say, ah, mommy, test books. <laughs> we need to buy this and that and that. So when I get that money, for the ah, for the, the drip, for the drip, wow. I just go, you know, do the shopping. When I come to school, I just be wearing it, wearing it, so wearing. So, what were you? What were you studying in school? So I did public relations in school. But, I you attended, but it was a fashion school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a fashion school, <laughs> and I think it changed the narrative because when we went to school, mm. they were very formal, like wear shirts. Like it was boring. What school? What school did you go to? Ghana Institute of Journalism. Oh, really? If you people know, you know that before we came to the school, it was dead. It was boring, but we brought <laughs> life to school. Like, see now, you see the girls like. Make up like shout. Yeah, when you pass there yeah. around like five o'clock, you um, see the girls. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah like, I don't know if they still dress, but my time, my time was when Snapchat was a thing. Like you get to school and everybody's like, <laughs> you know. But it it was fun, and then now people just adapted to the whole having to look good to right. school because the fact that you're coming to learn doesn't mean you should look basa basa. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I was just like that popular guy on campus, basically. Mm. So then that means you've always been famous. And now that you're an influencer, do you sometimes wish you could just like pull the plug and just be like normal? Uh, not really. Wow. Not really. I mean, I've always liked, no, if I say like, <laughs> I've always loved it. Like, I just, I just knew I was going to be in that space. Yeah. Right from church. I was popular everywhere. Yeah. My hood, church, school. Like, just mention my name. Everybody knows me. Mm. Not that I'm doing anything special, but everybody just knew me. Mm. But you know, like you asked, sometimes I only just get overwhelmed and feel like, ah, maybe if I was just normal, all these things wouldn't have happened. Like, you know, but right. it comes with the job. You're out there. People need to talk about you. People would definitely talk about you. Like I said earlier, if they don't talk about you, it means that you're not doing, you're not doing something. Fair, fair, so, fair, fair, real. In line real. with the Gen whole, Z. <laughs> <laughs> in line with the whole influencing and all of that, I think 
um, and people who are like influencers are usually friends and everybody was like very excited about how you and Portia used to vibe all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so who killed Nancy? <laughs> so what <laughs> happened between you and Portia? Like where did the relationship turn sour? Or I don't know if it turned sour. Maybe I'm just like assuming. Wow. You see, I've... Uh, yeah, you people, <laughs> you didn't try. <laughs> now I know why you have tea. This tea is sweet, but I don't know if I'll make it sweeter. But um, for me, I just believe that people come and go. Mm. Um, I started with some people before TikTok came mm. and we lost touch, not because we we're enemies or anything at all, but we just fell out. And I feel like that's normal. And so with Porsche and I, we mm. started off very good and all of that. But people grow, people change and people change their directions, what they want to do and what they do not want to do anymore. And I just felt like it was just one of those things. So we had our time, we had a moment mm. and we shared what we could share. But unfortunately, it couldn't last as long as you guys wanted it. And this that's the, this answer. Bro, I didn't think I like, had a beauty like, contest. Uh, <laughs> no, bro, 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 no, bro, I think this is me wow. saying it, but what do you, what do you want me to say? No, what's the answer actual is so massage, so yeah, political. Which kind of, no, which is what, so what why is, did you guys fall out? What do you, what is the different direction in, in being influencers and just hanging out? What was the different direction? Oh, no, no, no. So, um, it was just like, um, one of those things, like which nothing really of, happened. One of which things? Which one? Of, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's one of yeah, could become one of those things. That's all what he has. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my god, Afi. explain it. Explain it like we are children. One of those things, like we just we just fell out. That's it. Mm. Yeah. So who cuts who off? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we who cuts who off? That's the last no. question on my end. So we it was it was just a mutual. I knew you said that. Like, oh no, no, but we see when we stop creating content, oh, we'll check up on each other once mm. a while, you know. So, you still talk, yeah, thank you. No, we haven't, we haven't spoken in a while. How long is this while? I, I'm not checking, but it's been a while. Oh, wow, yes, it's been a while. Do you miss it? Oh, yes, I mean, it's not like we we ended on a bad note, yeah, we were friends, and so definitely I would miss. I mean, I've been getting some memories, I'm like, oh, hey, nice, okay, cool, but you see, it's true. Portia, we miss you. Come hey, back. Hey, 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 did I say did I say anything? <laughs> you are reading between the lines. That's how some of us understand it. Uh, some people I understand see. it differently, but some people too. Uh, well, you may never know what the future holds. So True. let's see. Let's yeah. be open-minded. Yeah. Yes. See. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning of the tea. So we'll be doing casual. We'll be like, yeah, be like, yeah. Wow. Okay. Just okay. bring it. Yeah. Without you know, see, it's huh. coming. why do I feel like I know what's coming next? But uh, let, me just, just answer it. let me just no, 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 I don't know. Why would I? I'm just guessing, it's in my head. Okay, uh, okay so what's your guess? No, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, okay, okay, so let's go. Maybe it's not even part of your questions, and I just come and think, I don't want that. I, don't know, I feel like I have an idea what's, but I'll bring it up later. Don't worry. Okay, so should I go on? Go on, go on okay. Go on. So, what's a typical day like for you, like on a normal day? Like, what is Wesley Kessie up to? And this one is. <laughs> <laughs> I started a gym not long ago, but let me just, let me just fuse it in because okay. like a typical day right now, this is the life. So a typical day, I wake up at six a.m., mm. get ready to the gym, get there by eight, uh, do all the shenanigans. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. So the thing is, when I wake up at six, I'm not coming to say who asked me to go to the gym. Huh? Why am I even going to the uh, gym? I get it. I get it. It's too so early. Oh, bro. Oh my god. Hey. Then I'll I take a shower, get ready. At Why least by before the gym. Oh, I'm the dirty one. <laughs> no, I feel see <laughs> one of my aches is like getting to the gym and somebody smelling by like bro. No, no, no. Okay, so me, what, what I do is if I I'll take a shower before I sleep. Yeah, right before when I, I sleep. wake up, I'll go to the gym. Because I feel like I'm going to shower, hey, I'm going to sweat and I'll come right back exactly. home. Fair, fair. Mm -hmm. So if I take a shower like before, let's say after 12. Then I won't take an initial when I'm going to the gym. Mm. But if I do before 12, yeah. Yeah. when I wake up, I just want to look fine. Like, I mean, it's ah. Wesley Kessler, guys. You cannot be caught. Oh, I, I don't think my gym, I don't think my, my gym people know me like that. Sure. <laughs> Or maybe they know me they, and they, they are acting they, like, oh, they haven't said it, who the heck are you? Just respect you yeah, so gym space. Yeah. I go to the gym. When I come back and I have anything to do, and if I have any content to shoot, I just, you know, go out, shoot it. If I want to cook too, so I love cooking. So we had. That's the next question. 
I want to know about your jollof rice. Why are you there coming <laughs> to me? So if I want to cook, I just cook and then, you know, watch movies. But most of the time when I'm not shooting any of these things, I'm just home with my friends and we're just laughing over silly things. Mm. Silly things. Like it could just be one facial expression from Zoo and we'll start laughing the whole time. It's just it's just fun like that. Right. But my, my life, my a typical day in my life is not too exhausting if I'm not working, working. So you're doing like 100% influencing now this. Yeah. Moment. Weird nine to five, no rat racing. Anymore. The only nine to five is that gym I've been going to because <laughs> I don't know. I, I sometimes I want to ask myself, who is complaining about how my? Long, how long have you been going? Have you been going to the gym? So you shouldn't have been. You shouldn't have asked that. Like how long has it been? It's because just, the way you had complaining, the complaining. She's the muscle face now. So let's give it like. It's just been one month. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So that's why, yeah. That's my why. people feel like my people are so proud of me. They're like, yeah. oh yeah, you haven't stopped because they know I me. Think after three months, you might change you change your mind a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like it a bit more. Yeah, someone said that today in yeah, the gym. Yeah, you change your mind. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, but yeah, what do you want to know about my jollof? Yeah, well, yes, how, yes. Well, yeah, what Tell makes us. good jollof? How do you? What's the secret to good jollof? Is your jollof as good as you put it out to be, or as people endorse it to be? Honey, Tell I've won like two competitions. Like when it comes to jollof, so it's not brand Serious. new. It's not. No, 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 no. I don't know. So for me, I've always loved cooking. Mm-hmm. I think the first time I made my own jollof, I was in class six. People might think I'm I'm joking, but I, yes, but I'm I'm dead serious. <laughs> I, I I was just trying something. I was hungry. I was back from school. My sister was in home. My auntie was in home, and then I was like, okay, you know what? I know how to make in. Are you home alone? I was home alone. Crazy. <laughs> when Kevin was doing traps, tra- 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I was just cooking. So I just put okay. Wow. I I know at that at that time it wasn't the best. Yeah. Mm. But the thoughts. The effort I put in alone, my sister, my auntie was like, God damn it. That, that's, that's very crazy. That's crazy. Because mm-hmm. like even grown-ups are struggling to make jollof yeah. and then you yeah. did it. It was good. And then I remember in JHS3, our catering class, my group won the best food because we made jollof and everybody stopped whatever they were cooking just to taste our food. That's and I was the group leader. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know it's what? It's my jollof, guys. It's, it's my jollof. It's me. I'm the, it's me. I did it. It's, it's me. Science. Yeah. And after that, it's just been like that. Like, just cook, cook. I don't, you know, I never thought I was like the jollof king. Mm. People cook jollof, but anytime somebody eats my jollof, they're like, wow. Mm. And my jollof, it's not like I'm doing giddy giddy. It's just not saying, I say, you see people roasting things and mm. blending, blending. You know, we're doing all of that. But before, before, it's just like, okay, we're going to put this in. We'll blend this. We'll take this out. And then we just, you know. Simple and simple. sweet. Now, the secret to jollof is the stew. Yeah. And rice, yeah, rice. how you cook this, the rice when you put it in there. Because like, now when you put the rice in, it needs to be on medium heat. So I know I'm And then you just turn it like two times or three times, like. Not too giddy giddy, yeah, not like you're worry. doing a mutual. Don't worry, just like cover it, let it be on the stove. Like, don't no sure. add water, yes. No, 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 sorry, yes. don't add more water, guys. Yes, yes. The, the water you use now nah, from the it beginning, okay. Be okay. You mean it sometimes, needs sometimes you feel like, oh, Mom, I didn't add enough, enough so let me add some. Oh, it's it's love, love, it could yes, you like it disgrace you if you don't know. I'm telling <laughs> you, for free. <laughs> it will shock you. But yeah, that's, that's the jollof bit, you know. I see, I see. Yeah, because I've seen you cooking on online. Um, I've seen like okro stew and all sorts of things. Like, yeah. hey, so you're doing your homework. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I've know. been posting that. Okro soup is one of my favorite um, stuff too. Mm, yeah. I really love banku and okro. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, legendary so. food right there. Yeah. It's a great meal, yeah. I can eat banku at 12 with okro. Or 1 a.m. safe. These are the lesser gods. <laughs> My friends don't understand why I'm eating fufu at 12 a.m. I said, no, but it's, it's I am craving for the thing yes, and I need to eat it. Because yes. I, I was making wow. the soup around 8 p.m. and then I had a call to come and take some money from some people. I said, hey, you know what? Let me post the soup. I'm going to take the money. When I came back, it was 11. I said, uh-uh-uh. I said, I, I, need the the soup. Food. <laughs> I need to eat the food. I can't eat it tomorrow. No, it won't no, make no, sense. I've done this a few times, so I understand what you're saying. Oh, so make three of us. Let's have God. Back right back at you. Yeah. Well, yeah, you used to sell or do you still sell food? You used to sell food. Hey, you've done your homework. <laughs> we don't so, just no, come here. We... I, I haven't, I, I'm not selling at the moment, mm. but maybe soon mm. I will. But for now, I'm not. But what, st- what stopped you from selling? So when I started cooking, influencing wasn't like a big deal, even mm. though like I was still doing a few gigs here and there. Yeah. Just when I, I got, <laughs> up there i realized that i can't juggle the two yeah and i'm like the brain behind the whole 
Kessie cooks. So mm. if I don't go to the kitchen every day to make sure everything is in order, mm. they're going to ruin the business for me. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me make a decision right now. Let me put one down, focus on one. Now, which one would I want to put down? This is something I have always wanted to do or wanted to be. That is the influencing and, you know, doing all that I'm doing right now. So, so what's going on? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> carry on, carry on. So um, I was like, okay, mm. uh, we had a problem with where I was cooking. Mm. Then I was like, okay, you know what? This is it. Let me put a hold on this, focus on this, grow in it, have like a solid ground. Then I'll know what to do from there. And yeah. To God be the glory, great things he has done, greater Amen. things he will do. Amen. We're getting there. Amen. Yes. That's real. Nice. So what's <laughs> Gen Z real? <laughs> Zoo, Zoo is trying so hard <laughs> to be a Gen, Gen Z. Z. Oh yes. no. That's, That's my ache. Real. Guys, I, I That's my ache for friendship. <laughs> all like, all, all I have to say is the aunties are always hating, bro. The aunties are always hating. Anyway, so I yeah, let's this go. Is, this is not good. <laughs> let's carry on. Anti happy. Anti happy. I'm an anti and proud. Yeah, it's, own good, it. it's good that you're claiming. Yes. Own it. So There's you have to own it. About your age. Oh, yeah, when I get there, he's trying to move to um, small girls. So he's trying to. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why. He's, oh, please, please, I beg you. Gen Z. <laughs> you're taking it too far. Never right? taking it too far. <laughs> 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 no, but no, no, I'm taking it too far. Are you sure? Oh no, that's not the truth. No media. I don't do those things. So he says, let's see. So, Wesley, what is the most expensive <clears throat> fashion um, purchase. Invest, yeah, purchase you've ever made? And you're just like, yo. Um, you know, I really thought one day somebody would ask me this question. But the truth is, I don't have, I like, I don't have anything yes. that is too expensive. I'm like, oh, my God, Jesus Christ, I had to pay this amount of money to get it. Like, mm. no, maybe I have expensive gifts. Mm. But as in me, I buy, no. So what's the most expensive <laughs> You say you you I feel you ask me what I have bought. Why now it, you've changed it to why, what do you take to my if it's a podcast to <laughs> change my question? Yeah, that's true. So um it would be oh okay, no, no, no. It wasn't I was gonna say something because I bought, but no, nah, it wasn't that expensive, it was just limited. Mm-hmm. But um I think there are some sneakers, but I'll I'll mention the sneakers. It was when I wear it and I do say, ah, that'd be the sneakers. Yeah. You can see if it's banku or something, I beg you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's some sneakers, yes. But like it's a designer. Yeah, it is. Display. But I'm actually not big on designers like that. I just love things that are good. Look good. That, yes. Yeah. The whole point is to look good, not to look like um not to like overly invest and just Yes. If I if I get like a Gucci bag, I'd like it. But I could buy another bag from ASOS, which is equally nice and mm. good. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's real. I feel too sad, real. Jesus I'm sorry. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. She tries no, so hard. No, I'm not even trying. You guys she actually have so hard. Zoot said, yeah, yeah. Me, I'm apologizing. She I tries beg so you. Hard. But I'll be okay. I'll be sad, real. real. <laughs> <laughs> and Zoot. Zoot, what's the most expensive thing you have bought, like fashion wise? Me, have bought fashion wise. Yeah. Like some sneakers or something, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I've ever bought sneakers more than like $150, and that's like back in the day when $150 was easier to come by. Nowadays, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. spend yeah. certain amounts on certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah me, yeah. I feel back to you since you are since ha- you're asking. happily yeah. asking everybody this question. And so now, you're saying you we want to know. I don't think I've bought anything expensive, I think it's also sneakers recently, just buying sneakers. At the current CD rate oh. for two hundred dollars, that's the most expensive I bought recently. Oh sh! I can't remember Crazy. anything. Else. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Get money, Keke. Yeah, I know. I can. T- I can smell it. Mm. Oh, and then now I think I've gotten a new addiction is perfumes. When you say I can smell, it's like yeah. So that oh. has been really entering my pockets, but now I've stopped. Me, yeah, I'm, addic- I'm addicted to food. Uh, yeah. That's my own. That's that's where I spend my money. Food, food and transport. <laughs> where do I even spend my money? It's addicted to you. You are not addicted to really? food. Mm, yeah. Nah. I mean, I love food, but I don't know. That's a good question. You know, I don't know. Cause it's not like I'm buying clothes or anything. Yeah. yeah. So what am I that's doing good. with the money? You're just using it to go around. Like transportation takes so much money. Like you don't even know it. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Yeah. I think first of all, let me go back into your influencing work. Why are you panicking? You used to. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm very. I'm very okay. I promise. <laughs> you used to be um, 
like a comedian. I'll call you a comedian, like a TikTok oh, comedian. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you don't do as much as you used to, but there was a time where it's like Wesley was fooling on the internet. Exactly. Serious fooling, bro. Yeah, serious. Yeah. That's you know, that's actually the first time I encountered you. I said, like, ah, who's this guy? <laughs> and then you insulted me. Insulted you too. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I get it. I get it. Like what's going on here? What's, what what's all of, this? You, what was the name of the your character? Yeah, oh, the, uh bad bitch Agata, Mama yeah, Agata, like, you know, Agatha, yeah. The yes, Agata family. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. So what happened to that? I feel like you don't do as much as you used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like re-branded. I said, people grow. Um, before TikTok came, mm. that wasn't what I was doing. If you come to my Instagram, you just say, oh, okay, who's this guy who's going places, going here and taking nice pictures? Like I was more of like a photo model than any other thing. So you come in and you just know that, okay, this guy looks nice. Yeah, I'm, mm. yeah I am nice. And then that was it. But when TikTok came, I was just trying my hands on something. I know for sure that um, people around me always said that I was funny, my expressions and all of that. Mm-hmm. So when TikTok came and then I tried one or two and it worked, I was like, okay, cool. Why not? Mm. Okay, let's do this. And people just like fell in love with it. Mm. And I said, okay, cool. But that has never been the dream. I don't want to be a comedian. Like, I feel like that's too much work for me to make you laugh. What if you don't laugh? I don't know how bad <laughs> I will feel. So I'm like, I can't even do that. Big uh, shout outs to all the comedians out there. Because for yeah. me, I cannot do that. And so for me to also find a way to let people laugh, I just feel like, okay, that's a good start. But, you know, people grow and um, people decide to, you know, go different directions. So I was like, okay, you know what? I've done that and it's good for me. Mm. Now let me focus on what I love most, Mm. which is what I'm doing right now. Mm. And then I just put it on hold. But it doesn't mean I don't do that. I do it once in a while, but it's not as frequent as it, as it used to be. Yeah, hey, yeah. We're full of Drew, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, mm-hmm. as a, oh, relax. I'm, I'm, I got <laughs> drop on later. Oh, okay. So as a content creator, yeah, I know like there are some people that look up to you, mm-hmm. but there are also some people that feel that we are that buying tea, even if they want to be like you. Mm. It, like the yardstick is. They can't. They can't reach you. How do the regular people become as like you, like, yeah. I, like as a DB boy? First of all, I'm a regular person. I'm not a DB at all. At all. That's, what, that's what DBs but, always say. Yeah, but you give DB vibes though. I can tell because I, I I'm around the DB all the time. <laughs> you see, he looks more DB. Oh, Let them in. When we are forward to send me a rap a crash, I'll say oh, DB. Please. No, 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 no. <laughs> So I just come from a family where um, they made sure that we got whatever we wanted. It doesn't mean that we're... That was DB. No, that's not DB. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I feel safe the ball because she's even more DB than all of us here. I don't know what the name is. See, why I should say, I should stick a sense. Hey. It's my office track. Uh, it's office in Puni. Hey, wow. Look, look at Afi. Like, like, I'm dealing bro, with the DBs. Like, bro, come on. Me. I'm also three of us. Who looks DB? I think Obviously, we should not me. Me. I, feel like, I, think, I feel like if you're growing up looks, maybe you shouldn't... For yeah, your you sake, there. Let, let's not use looks. <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not even looks. Crampon, look, just, just look at Zoo right now. Zoo, actually, you are the look one at his with hair, the looks that you've done. Very as calm. Look, look at her feet. Like She's done all ago. natural Why hair. Look, look at me. Me, I'm all dressed up. <laughs> Primarily. You had looks two years ago. What are you talking about? No, but yes, I had looks two years ago. But me too, with Primarily. DB, the <laughs> rich money, see black, gray, like you know, what's your color? Color is we. This guy, no, 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 no. I'm not I'm DB, crying. no. But I'm, I'm, I'm really not DB. It's just um knowing what you want and mm. working towards it. So yeah, if you want to be like me, you know, you actually have to be yourself. You don't have to be like me. Yes. Be yourself. You might even be bigger and better than me. Just be yourself. Do what you have to do. And understand that branding is very important. It's like, if you don't brand yourself properly, like, <laughs> you just still be wherever you are. Put in yeah. the hard work and, you know. Facts. Real. Yeah. <laughs> real what's it? Real what's it? <laughs> so real. Uh, yeah. So real. So ever since you hit 30, <clears throat> do you feel like, oh, shit, I'm, like, so old now. Like, I'm asking for myself. <laughs> well, when I was about hitting 30, I was like, hey, how did I go up like this? Oh, like I'm getting old. Yeah. But then again, I'm like, uh, I'm glad I'm 30 and I look like this. Yeah. Because when I was younger and then I saw people turning 30, I was like, hey, we need papa. <laughs> and today I'm part of those people I that are 30. Still saying that yeah. Yes. But for me, people actually get shocked when I say 
from 30. They're like, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad at all. Because, like, I look 28, 28. I, feel people I know surprised. haters will come and say people, I'm lying. Yeah, people think I'm way younger. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, you look way younger. You look like you're 26. Or yeah, people always give me, like, 26. Oh, for you, you look like you're 24. Are you 24? Yeah, I get that. I get that too, yeah. I'm 24 years. But yeah, um, <laughs> it, 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 I, it only dawned on me one time, like, not one time, like, hey, yeah, you're growing. So, like, you have to know how to go about this, how to behave about, you know, certain things, how to react to certain things. It's just like a mental thing, not yeah. not like physical. Physical, mm. dear. <laughs> I don't look 30, so I'm fine. And do, wait, do, do, do I look 30? Yeah, no, no. I look 30. I don't. So. so what do you say to the almost 30 year olds who are watching you who are afraid of turning 30? Because a lot of people are afraid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been there. And so I know I I was just a little worried that I was getting old and maybe I haven't accomplished selling like certain things yet. Yeah. But don't 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 worry. Life could start at 40, could start at 50. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. It's just a number. Yeah. It's just a number. It's just three zero. It's nothing too serious like Big don't be too hard on yourself Big when you hit 30 celebrate it because like yo you've stayed on earth for like three decades that's crazy. Go, like, that's crazy yeah just just you know embrace it enjoy it and just make sure that okay now you're not thinking like a child you need to think like a grown-up that's mm. the only difference but yeah mm. it is mm. what it is mm. so speaking Real. of speaking of being 30 and being a grown-up when will you marry yes do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend <laughs> well for me i don't think um marriage is the the goal for me mm. yeah i probably would want to have a kid but not 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 marry like i don't know it's beautiful like me i like going to weddings like hey when a friend invites me that's the time for me to dress like hey i remember early last year i was a groomsman and i was so upset i kept telling my friend don't put me here again because mm. we feel i feel like we're wearing uniforms like i need to express know, my joy dress and come so that you know that ah your friend came for the wedding but yeah. uh personally i don't think i i want to get married you may never know what the future holds but i don't have a girlfriend why do why don't you want to get married yeah because no, we I don't just... know why zoo doesn't want to get married oh i didn't say i don't want to get married okay yeah, uh, never mind it's not about you I, I don't know i don't know like uh, stay with somebody, like, wake up, tomorrow attitude to leave this, <laughs> tomorrow you disagreed on something. I mean, it's not like I'm going to marry a child. Funny, I would man. definitely marry somebody who is emotionally intelligent and right. would know how to. I feel like I sound like a professor. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah, the age is showing, showing the answers. So you didn't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have really to say showing, that. It's really showing the you know? yeah, But you yeah, I, I, yes, and I don't know. I just feel like it, it comes with a lot of uh, responsibilities. It would be beautiful to settle with somebody and go together and love the person, but um, you, that's what I'm saying. You just don't know what the future holds. Maybe mm. I'm today. I'm saying I don't want to get married. And next week, I'll send you my invitation yeah, card. We'll be there. Mm, we'll yeah. Be there. We'll be there. So let's see. Let's keep our fingers we'll crossed. I'll dress you. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I actually want to see you get married because I want to see what you wear. So like, no, no. He'll actually suck you if you come for the wedding. Yeah. No, 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 no. My wedding is the the biggest Met Gala. Like, <laughs> so yeah, you you need suck. to overdress. Like, yeah. for me, I can't do much. It'll just be a black suit or white suit. Mm. And then maybe I'll be like, no, 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 no. You people yeah. come. Like, I need to see and say, oh, See, <laughs> my wife will say, "Relax, relax." We understand that they're overdressed, but you know, yeah, I, that's there, how I want it. There was a time where a lot of people thought, or still even think, that you and Ellen were together. What if we're together? Are you? Ooh. You just said you don't have a girlfriend. That's why. No, so the fact that I said I, I don't have a girlfriend so, no doesn't mean yeah. But um, we'll leave that to the public. <laughs> The two of you, eh, you are, you are so annoying. I saw the guy. I know, but how? Like, we we'll leave that to the public. One thing about me is, I would rather prefer my relationship is not out there because you know, like Ghanaians, or when people know, when people see beautiful things, they just try to ruin it. So, yeah. but you keep... guys post together a lot. Yeah, I mean, like, why can't can't friends post? Don't you post, Afi? <laughs> so that's why I know, me personally, I, I know friends. that you guys are friends, but a lot of people don't think you are friends. 
we're we friends. We're good. We're good. We're lovely friends. Because sometimes you guys will post some people send it to me that as we ready together. I say, why are you asking me? Hey, you're concerned. Oh, if I'm ready, never. No, but it's it, 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 really your business. Instead though. of you wondering what you eat tomorrow, oh. or what no, but that's actually concerned. Because like. You and Zoo know each other, but like to what level are they asking Zoo? That's like a real concerning. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, shame. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Ellen. Hey, shout out to Ellen. My Rihanna. Zoo, ask your Jay Z, how can you do this hat at this time? It's a new one. No, I did this. I can't, you know, I can't. Oh, right. Like this. Yeah. Ellen, this for you. Can <laughs> I can't do it. Tell us, call me. I can't do it. Zoo is moving, wants to move to here, but that's tell why us, he asked you me. about it. It's not even about Ellen, anything. Ellen, Zoo says call him. Call but me. it will be a conference call, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah. This has been yeah. so interesting. So, yes. I remember <clears throat> knowing or finding out or seeing that you were acting movies here and there. What is the future like for you? Are you looking to continue with that or you're just going to focus more on your influencing and then cooking later what's the future like for wesley so um i still love acting i'm trying to find the right role or probably like the right thing to do i've started like i've done a few projects with fella makafui shout outs to fella makafui like She's always putting me on when there's Should a I tell you that we wanted to come on the podcast. Yeah, actually. Fella, please, my people want you to come on the podcast, okay? And so come. Bestie, please come, okay? I beg you. I know she watches, but you you also have to tell her after. You have to tell her physically. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. But um, yeah, I think acting is still in me. I I would want to, you know, <clears throat> pursue that. I would want to act. The cooking is still going to happen. I don't know. I, I just believe that the future holds a lot of um greatness. I can't really say uh, I have it all figured out, but I just know that it's going to be good because mm. God D inside, you know. We love it. We love it. Real. We love it. I've, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I'm very um, curious about like acting. And, like I've been watching more films and stuff. And like when you see an actor in film A and you see them in film B, it's like, wow, I can't believe this is the same guy, you know, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. And I've never really acted before, but I'm curious about it. So if you need like an extra call me, I'll come and try. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll be in the back and do some minor role and see how. But just like. understand that when you're on set, you're going to see a lot of people. There's going to be lights. There's going yeah, to be yeah. so um Conti. All of them looking at you, and then they say action. Yeah. And then, and then you just be talking like, hey, what's the deal, yo? It's crazy. But, you know, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that's the job. It's crazy. So you have to get used to that. If you're shy, you can't do the job. Yeah, that's because the thing. Everybody's the shyness. Yes. Is, yes. It will hold you back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this has been a lovely conversation. See, we didn't even press you hard like that. It we was had the cool, more squeeze, but it's okay next time. Yeah, a cool we'll calm conversation. Yeah, don't worry, you come around with me. I look forward to that. Yes. <laughs> I know fear anything. I look forward to that. Like, I think it was, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should start putting me in your plans, but I'm just saying that. Yeah, you are in, in the <laughs> plans already. Hey. The one we that we did last the, time, we, everybody we almost should send me. their questions. All the questions you want us to ask that we didn't ask today, just send it to our DMs mm-hmm. and we go ask him for a second. Yeah. So on, our next time. live show, Wesley will be on it. Hmm. There's a lot to talk about, as you can tell. Yeah, mm-hmm. For me, I, I think I'll enjoy more it. Tea. Yeah. Uh. Why did this person fight with this person? Do you know the relationship between Oh, if, if that's what you're bringing, Kadia, then, oh, this one there, you should do if you're Coco. It's not even tea because <laughs> I swear, I, don't, I won't know. I'm like, I'm that guy that is on social media but doesn't know what's going on. That's like, me. I could see, oh, go, 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 go. Hey, sorry, so what's going on? Like, that's yeah. me. And then they say, oh, this and this. Haven't you said, oh, no, you know what? I'm not going to look for the whole thing and come that's and sit down and say, oh, me. wow, Real. that's interesting. I'm like, Real. always Real. late. Me really? too. I'm I'm always late. Something could be happening on social media and I'll just not know. Yeah. yeah. And the truth is, I psych myself not to know. So yeah. I'm doing my thing. If it happens, like, okay, oh, this is happening. Okay, cool. If I'm interested, okay, what, what happened? If I'm not interested, okay, let us yeah, fight this. I don't care. Yeah. Speaking of, shout out to Gisela and if you do and Amabella. Princess. Shout out Amabella. to my girls. Congratulations on the hey, new podcast. Hey. More, please, we want more hot, hot. More hot. hot more hot compa- confessions. Yes. More, uh, I don't hot know, but hot. more of everything. Yeah. We want more of you. We want more of you. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> no, Gisela. Gisella. Bella. <laughs> and if you're a dog. Yeah. Oh, dog. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, my so yeah, something that we do on the podcast, we like you. We would like you to tell us who do you want to see on Stay by Plan. 
Tuss. Um, who do I want to see on Stay By Plan? Yeah, um, do you know who I want to see? Maybe. I know. What did you say? I know. Who? Ellen. Oh, yeah, Ellen. But somebody <sighs> else. I have someone else in mind, actually. Fella. Yeah, somebody else. Hey. <laughs> now you have your own. <laughs> I don't want to mention Ellen or Delay. Fella. Delay. That's who I want on Stay By Plan. Yeah, I've, I've been sending her love. I've been spamming her, but apparently they said she doesn't come on other people's interviews. Like mm, she she's never been interviewed. Yeah, that's what they said. Um, I'll continue spamming her. Okay. Okay. Mm. I mean, there's nothing... There is, there's nothing impossible, so... Yeah. yeah. You may never know. Maybe you should just wake up and say, oh, you know what? I feel like I want to be on this podcast. Yes. And so that would be wild. Yeah. Give us a call. But I think I want to see... Sarkodie. It's obvious you don't watch our podcast, but then we have to bring Sarkodie again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I haven't seen that, no. but okay. Yeah, wait. but no, we do actually feel yeah, like we, we should have a conversation with him, him again. again. So, yeah. okay. Sarkodie, exactly. please come on the podcast. Round two. Yeah. yeah round two. Yeah. And I think, you know, so you know, I think I want to see Lale. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to see Lale because Lale is like the queen of influence in, mm. in Ghana. Mm. Like when she started, nobody was doing it. And so now like nobody's a mate. I'm sorry, that's like mm. <laughs> nobody's a mate. Yeah, like, Lale, we want to talk to you. Lale, we want to talk to you. She's so, you. Somebody when she asked, comes, some, she will answer that question. Me. I don't know. <laughs> somebody asked me I'm asking Zoo you. is a gossip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is everybody is everybody's idea? asking Zoo. Why are they not asking yeah, Zoo? Yeah, I don't know why people ask me these questions, so, bro. Zoo is saying that somebody asked if Lale is single or not. Yeah, Zoo is a gossip. Okay. No, it's it's confirmed. Confirmed. You know, but how are people feel, feeling so free to ask you? So why they feel so comfortable so to come and ask you? No, because like, you, like, yeah, you give know. them an answer. No, and why do you how do you? Why do you answer? look like you know? And why I don't does know, it look because like you tell them that what's what they Because my answer is. is always I don't know. So I don't know why they, they always come back like. So, so, so I don't, don't believe you. I don't believe him. Oh guys, believe me. No, we don't believe you. Zoo is a gossip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Zoo is a big com- gossip. People feel comfortable asking about like people's private life from you because you know they don't get the original tea from you. Because they feel like I know them personally the fact that they feel like you know you, you know me that, that information that means you tell them that's what they're coming to you because they no, feel very comfortable that's not like what hey, Zoo, tell me <laughs> tell me they have who is, who is affidating right now you say ah uh, oh i don't know it's a zoo you know say, oh i don't know yeah, but Afi, um, i think she's dating Afi, this been, guy i'm opening your keys too, by the way are you serious you see it makes yeah, i'm like, serious it makes so, so like what people sense. have been asking stuff about me oh yeah all the time now what who am i dating yeah and what have you been saying? I give them the house address. <laughs> Go into his house. <laughs> you find a person. You find a person there. <laughs> Stop that. My safety. Uh, oh no. Nah. Man, man. But yeah, people safety. actually ask me a lot though. And so about me, about me? Yeah. So me, I don't know. Ask it. <laughs> so wait, nobody's asking anything about Zoo. Oh no, a few times people do. They don't like me like that too. If, but I feel like Zoo already puts out the whole like I'm single and I'm not trying to be committed type of vibe. So people already kind of know what's going on mm. with him. But me today, I'm talking about how I'm so in love. Another time, I'm talking about how men are trash or something. So maybe they can't really tell if I'm dating or not. So yeah, the, yeah. the people that say men are trash are the ones that are in love. Bro, don't even watch Deep. those people. They are they're in, they're in they're love. Dangerous. They are doing boot things and baby things. My dangerous. man, my man, my man. Yeah, just face your front and just do what makes you happy. Don't follow anybody. Real. Because who knows? What if Facts. I'm already married and I'm Real. just on this podcast and you know? No, I don't know what married. else to say. <laughs> fair, fair, yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> so before we leave, guys, I want us to play a game. I won't even really call it a game. The way I hate he hasn't it. given us a it's song. A game. It's like a scenario. Yeah, so okay. we'll do that after that. Like a oh, scenario. Okay, okay. What is the worst thing that has happened to your iPhone, like in your life? Yeah, or any of a- ever owning a, an iPhone. One time I was, well, I have two stories, very similar stories. So this was, I got an iPhone 8, 7 or 8, I don't remember, it's a while ago now. Fresh. Mm, it sounds fresh. like my story. I think I have another story. It was like a week. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was. It was a week. Yeah, and like it was the best phone at the time. So yeah. the camera was good. So I was taking pictures of this girl, my friend. Hmm. Did some one or two, one or two. Uh, what was that for? Okay, anyway, this did some one or two, one or two. <laughs> And What's then, the one or two, one or two? Oh, pictures, pictures. Uh-huh. Like outside. And then you said sure. one or two, one we were two. speaking after like after we were taking the pictures okay. and like I think she had like her hand was up and she dropped it and at the same time my hand was there and like boom and the phone just fell and it felt like this like screen fest mm. on the road. I just said Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I don't I don't even want to take it. Like because I know pick it up. I know what's going on there. Mm. And yeah, we picked it up. 
crack, crack. on them. Oh, oh Charlie, geez. my fresh food. And she looked at me and said, oh, I'm so sorry. You know said, this story. And you can't do anything can't about do anything. it. Yeah. You can't. I would like, I was like, hey, I wish you were a boy. So I'll just we, jo- just you. Know, <laughs> even if you was a boy, you know what you say, bro. It's, it's okay. You don't. Want it's not okay. It's not okay. Who we'll make you pay? <laughs> you pay, papa, or at least you pay half because you are only hitting the things, man. Yes, yeah, so it's wicked when it comes. But to you know, I just remembered another story. So when iPhone success came, hmm. it's like, hey, I want this phone. Some guy just said, oh, he's selling his blah blah blah. I bought hmm. the phone only for me to realize that I had bought like a foolish phone. <laughs> you can't see it when you record. Ah. I was on Snapchat. I'll do everything. I can't hear anything. I say, hey, what's going on? Ah, is it the volume? I thought maybe Snapchat was um, faulty. I deleted it, downloaded oh, it again. Charlie. <laughs> it didn't work. Now I said, no, wait, somebody should call me. They call me. Hmm, see Jesus. Only for me to know that, Charlie, the phone was condemned oh, and it was man. bad. And do you know what I did? When I realized that, I also sold it to somebody. Don't think that I was smart. When I sold it to the person, the following week, the boy came with other boys to come and beat me. They say, if I don't bring the money and return it and give me the, back the phone, what will do to me? Now, come and see me. I'm doing hide and seek. I ask, are they around? Are they coming? Because if I do lose guard right now, they will catch me and beat me. That's crazy. I was just there and I said, you know what? Um, just take, let me give you the money and then let me have the phone. I got the phone and I just threw it somewhere because I was like, I'm not ready to, I'm not up for some beating somewhere because I may never know where I'll meet them. Yeah. If it's in town and there's nobody to help, I, they're like five boys. I can't, I can't fight them. If it was just one, at least I'll throw like a few punches up. Mm. You should have taken his phone to LSGH. I was like, ah, Charlie. Yes. But that was like 2016. Like, you know. <laughs> oh, they were there. Uh, if you tell us about wireless. Oh, okay. So basically, mm-hmm. wireless GH, mm-hmm. they actually specialize in fixing of phones. <laughs> Where are you <laughs> <laughs> and then, like they actually specialize in like fixing phones and all of that. Uh-huh. iPhones. And specifically Apple, iPhones, Apple, devices. Apple products. Okay. And they do amazing work. Mm. Right. So if you have a phone that has issues, you can just take it to wireless GH. And then do an iPhone, out. please. Yeah, yeah, an, an iPhone. iPhone, please, guys. They do, so do Apple products. Yeah. If there's anything below seven, uh, eight, I'm fine. Oh, that's not an, do, that's not an iPhone. That's an i. <laughs> yeah, so they do iPhone repairs, Apple Watch repairs, mm. MacBook repairs, all the Apple repairs. So yeah, okay. wireless, they are your, you know, they make Apple device servicing easy. You know, they're yeah. your friendly Apple device. You know what? As he said, the, the, you know, the i one. They help you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I have some iPhone 6 Plus. Mm. When I got it, the day I got it. My mother was going out. All this, my mother's fault. So this day, I'm still salty about that. She told me to come and open the gates. Whilst I was holding the phone, and the phone fell the same day. Why I did got, you put the phone down to go open the gates? It was rubber. I did when you're not from home. Ah, like, yes. I want to hold it. So the thing you also know, fell flat. You know, we don't allow you. Please, mommy, it's not your fault. It's her fault. Mommy, I think it's your you know, fault. You know, Zoo and my mom have this like close relationship. My mother watches the podcast, and she'll come and call me to my room. Say, you. The way you were talking to Zoo on this episode, I don't like it. What is wrong? <laughs> what you're doing is Zoo, wrong. What do you do to Afi's mom? <laughs> Nothing. She just respects me because she knows I'm a good I'm a good man. She said, don't talk to Zoo like that. I thought you were Gen Z, you know, your man. <laughs> Why Gen Z, they're not men. No, but they're kids, they're boys. <laughs> So if you say man, that means you're you're clocking thirty. Tw- yeah, you know, you're that's clocking right. thirty. Anyway, so Charlie, the phone crack. Wait, bash. My mother said, don't worry. Some people buy bases and they crash it. I said, madam. This is madam. not sense. This is my madam. iPhone. Please let me, let me cry. <laughs> but did she get there. Oh. No, no, she didn't get me anyone. It was fine. I was just cracked. Oh, okay. And, and I was literally waiting for the case and then the screen protector. Wait, it happened. So as soon as the guy came, I just said, you there, please clean it and cover because, it for yes. me like that. Peace. Don't worry. At this that point, phone then. is still there. I don't take it to wireless. So and see if they can fix it. Well, I'm sure they can. I mean, you guys said anything iPhone. Yeah, yeah, so let's see, guys. Yeah, so wireless guy on. <laughs> Please go there if you have Apple issues. Thank yeah. you very okay. much. Okay. So, yes, Wesley, what, what song, song have, have you been, been listening, listening to, to that you you like and you want people to also go and check out? Uh, okay, so I think I am I'm a fan of Rima, so mm. <laughs> I'm listening to the. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it. This is your my haters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um I'm listening to Rima's album. Nice. So, so, yes. I like it. I like his albums actually. Yeah, and then um I um these like I don't have any fresh song, fresh song, but okay. um 
Had to break song by Givian and that guy is a legend. Yes, Ira Star. And then favorite story. And I think right now I love mm. um Continental. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Zoo loves it too. What you do? <laughs> Yeah, sure. We'll do. I got you, man. Okay, yeah, I'm, you. I'm ready. So yeah. yeah, I think that's about it for now. Like nice, I don't, I don't, nice. I don't remember anything. Nice, nice one. Yeah. yeah. Since we're talking about music, before we wrap up, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sina. She brought out a new song. Oh, yeah, I saw too that. Too bad, and then she has gotten a pen cut, and she's looking too bad. She's looking pen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, shout out to Sina. Shout out to Sina, and, man. Yeah, we hope to have her on the podcast soon as well. Yes. So oh, okay. Charlie, why, why is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, your girlfriend is calling. No, so you know the funny thing? I set an alarm for taking drugs. I'm so bad at taking drugs. I had to like set an alarm and say, oh, when it's 8.30. What kind of drugs? What kind of drugs? Please. What was I even taking at the time? Um, Hey, what was that? Oh, so it was an antibiotic. Right. Yes. Okay, guys, it was an antibiotic, please. You. Well, what did you think it was? <laughs> no, because you just said I see, drugs. when you said drugs, I feel thoughts. Hey, please, please. I didn't that. think I said you should clarify. That'd be why I talk for here. Uh, so why would I be taking that those drugs at 8 30? Like what's so special the about it? Must come on time. <laughs> so when I take it at 8 30, then it starts working around 9, 10. Hey, you know inside. You don't know. Which one the antibiotics for the hard drug? Which one? Antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what time the antibiotics? Antibiotics, like I just know. I read the box. <laughs> I, I promise you. Yeah. It's okay. We've, we've had enough guy, conversation man. now. We are going somewhere else that we shouldn't be going. Charlie Wesley, uh, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Yes. It's been amazing. Yes. I'm glad that I came finally. We'll have this, you back. We, Continue, continue. Yeah, this this has been a long time. I mean, we've been asking for long. Yes. I'm sick. I'm and I was like, ready. you know what? I can't yeah, disappoint yeah. Afi and Zoo. Mm. Yes. So I got to be here. And trust me, I enjoyed every bit of it. This tea wasn't too sugary but it, it, it was creamy we'll i like it no, no 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 I, I don't like sugary tea i just want it creamy and you know mm. middle like fifty, fifty. but I, i'm glad that i came and i'm so happy to be on the show you know nice one nice okay, one thank you so much guys and make sure you like comment and subscribe it's very important yeah, yes very very important yeah okay bye bye Stay by plan, across, stay by plan, all the boys, all the girls, for stay by plan, stay by plan, stay by plan, all the boys, all the girls, for stay by plan.